Chelsea, it's mom. I love you and I want you to pass your senior exam for cosmetology college. So we are going through your uh, study manual for your cosmetology school and we're working into chapter five now, which is called Infection Control Principles and Practices. Material safety data sheets are obtained from the product manufacturer. Regulatory agencies and government health departments require businesses that serve the public to follow prescribed sanitary precautions. Bacteria are very small and can only be seen with the aid of a microscope. One-celled microorganisms with both plant and animal characteristics are called bacteria. In the human body, non-pathogenic bacteria help metabolize food, protect against infectious microorganisms, and stimulate the immune response. Bacteria can exist almost anywhere. A small minority of bacteria that cause disease when invading plant or animal tissue are pathogenic. A type of pathogenic bacteria that require living matter for growth are called parasites. Pus forming bacteria arranged in curved lines that resemble a string of beads are streptococci. Cocci are pathogenic bacteria that are round shaped. Bacteria that may cause strep throat or blood poisoning are called streptococci. Bacteria that grow in pairs and can cause pneumonia are called diplococci. Lyme disease, syphilis, or sexually transmitted diseases are caused by spiral or corkscrew-shaped bacteria called spirilla. In humans, pathogenic bacteria are known to produce diseases. Bacteria are transmitted through the air and rarely show active mobility are called cocci. Bacillia and spirulia I don't know if I pronounce this correct. Spirilla, bacilli, and spirilla bacteria are both motile and use slender hair-like extensions known as flagella. Harmless bacteria are what type of bacteria? Non-pathogenic bacteria. In 2000, a bacteria called Myobacterium fortunatum furunocolosis <laughs> caused a client outbreak due to the failure of a practitioner to follow proper disinfectant guidelines for whirlpool foot spas. Bacteria generally consist of an outer wall containing a liquid called protoplasm. The life cycle of bacteria has two distinct phases, the active stage and the inactive or spore forming stage. The process whereby bacteria grow, reproduce, and divide into two cells is called mitosis. Bacteria that pose little or no risk to a client in the salon getting by are dangerous in the medical setting are called anthrax and tetanus bacilli. Let me reread um, re that because I think I, I read it wrong. Bacteria that pose little or no risk to a client in the salon setting but are dangerous in a medical setting are called anthrax and tetanus bacilli. The presence of pus is a sign of a bacterial infection. When body tissues are invaded by pathogenic bacteria, it is a sign of infection. Common human bacteria transferred through skin to skin contact or by using unclean implements are staphylococci, or cocci, staphylococci. When a disease spreads from one person to another, it is communicable or contagious. An infection indicated by a lesion containing pus confined to a particular part of the body is a local infection. When a disease spreads from one person to another by contact, it is called contagious. 
a microscopic structure capable of infecting plants and animals, including bacteria, is a virus. A virus can live and reproduce only by penetrating other cells and becoming part of them. Hepatitis A, a bloodborne virus, is marked by an inflammation in the liver. Human, human immunodeficiency virus, or HIV, is the virus that causes acquired immune deficiency syndrome. It's often called AIDS, but that is not what's listed in the book. They want you to know the proper term for AIDS, which is an acronym for Acquired Immune Deficiency Syndrome. That would be HIV, Human Immunodeficiency Virus is acquired immune deficiency syndrome. An organism that lives on another living organism and draws its nourishment from that organism is called a parasite. If nail implements have not been disinfected properly, the client may contract a nail fungus. Disease causing bacteria or viruses that are carried through the body of the blood or body fluids are called blood-borne pathogens. Transmission of blood-borne pathogens can become possible through shaving, nipping, facial treatments, waxing, tweezing, or anytime the skin barrier is broken. A skin disease caused by an infection, excuse me, a skin disease caused by an infestation of head lice is called pediculosis. The ability of the body to destroy pathogenic bacteria or viruses that have entered the body is called immunity. The type of immunity the body develops after overcoming a disease or through vaccinations is called acquired immunity. The surfaces of tools or objects not completely free from dirt, oils, or microbes are covered in contaminants. The process of removing pathogens and other substances from tools and surfaces is called decontamination. The three, main, excuse me, the three main types of decontamination are sanitation, disinfection, and sterilization. Decontamination is a process that involves the use of physical or chemical means to remove or destroy pathogens. Ethneticians who use needles and probes that lance the skin must use a level of decontamination called sterilization. In the salon setting, disinfection is extremely effective in controlling microorganisms or non-living surfaces. Excuse me, microorganisms on non-living surfaces. In a salon setting, disinfect disinfection is extremely effective in controlling microorganisms or non-living surfaces. A higher level of decontamination than sanitization is called disinfection. An exception to the level of protection that disinfection provides and the possibility of an infection could be, pre should, could be present if the client's skin is broken. A chemical agent that is used to destroy bacteria and viruses on surfaces is called a disinfectant. Disinfectants must have a registration number and be approved by the Environmental Protection Agency, or EPA. A manufacturer must supply pertinent safety and storage information by providing material safety data sheets. The agency that enforces safety and health standards in the workplace is called OSHA, the acronym O-S-H-A. The agency that enforces safety and health standards in the workplace is OSHA. A disinfectant that means regulatory agency requirements for destroying bacteria, fungi, and viruses is called bacterial, fungicidal, and viricidal. A disinfectant used in salons should be appropriate and have the correct efficacy. A salon implement that accidentally comes in contact with blood or body fluids should be cleaned and completely immersed in an EPA-registered disinfectant. 
Any item that cannot be disinfected after use on a client must be discarded. Common, very safe, and useful types of disinfectant that, are, that contain sophisticated blends that work to disinfect implements in 10 to 20 minutes are quaternary ammonium compounds. Disinfectant with a high pH that can cause skin irritation or burn the skin or eyes are called phenolic disinfectants. Phenolic, maybe? I don't know how to pronounce that. Phenolic disinfectants. To be effective in the disinfection of implements, ethanol, ethyl alcohol must be no less than 70%. A common household product used effectively as a disinfectant is sodium hypochlorite. When mixing a disinfectant solution, add disinfectant to water and Mix according to the manufacturer's exact directions. To avoid contaminating implements, remove from a disinfectant solution using tongs, basket, or gloves. Store a clean disinfectant implement in a clean, dry container. How often must individual towels and linens be set aside to be laundered? after use on a client. The contact points of equipment that cannot be immersed in liquid solutions should be cleaned and disinfected using a regulatory oversight agency approved disinfectant. At the end of the day, the disinfection procedure for a foot spa should include removing and cleaning the screen, washing the screen and inlet with soap and water, and totally immersing the screen in an approved disinfectant according to the manufacturer's directions and flushing the system with low sudsing soap and water for 10 minutes, rinsing, draining, and letting air dry. Every week, foot spas should be cleaned following the daily procedure and filled with a disinfectant solution at least six to 10 hours, then drained and flushed. Any disposable material used in cleaning blood spills should be placed in double bags before disposing or placed in a container for contaminated waste. The first step in the decontamination process is called sanitation. When using liquid soap, scrub your hands and lather for at least 20 seconds. The use of bar soap is prohibited in most salons because bar soaps grow bacteria. Which of these is a danger of using antibacterial soaps? They may promote the growth of resistant strains. Antiseptics are effective for sanitizing the hands. The agency that sets the standard for dealing with bloodborne pathogens is called OSHA. Universal precautions require employees to assume that the human blood and body fluids are infectious for blood-borne pathogens. A client that is infected with hepatitis B or other blood-borne pathogens and shows no symptoms or signs of infection is called asymptomatic. And that is the end of chapter five. It was a long chapter. We'll get into chapter six in the next video.